Hi, James Burke here, Watercraft Technologies. A lot of you have asked, uh, sent us some emails that are interested in putting the skimmer on your kayak, but you have this large well. Today we're going to show you how to install the whale's tail perfectly along this particular type of kayak. In your box you'll get a plate, which looks like this and you'll see that in the plate there are holes already drawn and drilled and all you have to do is lay it on and we'll mark where the holes are we'll drill in we're going to use toggle bolts today and you're going to have a wonderful plate for your kayak for the skimmer first thing we do is we check and we see here most kayaks have a handle and we're going to remove this handle that's the first thing we're going to do we're going to cut it off pull it out some handles you don't have to cut off you just have to unscrew the bolt and just remove it we'll put this on the side so now that we've removed the handle out of the box comes our plate and we're going to find the best locations, the best locations to put our toggle bolts. Now some of you have wondered what a toggle bolt looks like. This is really what it is. It's a T. You insert it straight into the hole like this, putting it in, you straighten it out and you pull it up. We're going to show you that in a little, little bit. But the first thing we have to do is get an appropriate location to put to put exactly the plate where it's supposed to be. I'm going to use a pipe to find out and help us look. This is a one inch pipe. It's the same dimensions as the shaft. You can use the motor itself, but for our purposes, we're just going to insert this one inch shaft uh, pipe in the U. You see how it's perpendicular up and down, right down here. And we're going to make sure that it touches the stern of the kayak. Right there is where we're going to come to the back. We're going to make sure it's right centered. And we're just going to take a small screw right at the hole where it's over the gunnel. Give it a little twist. And on this one, give it a little twist. take our marker, find out where the twist is, which is right here, and right here. Very pretty clear. It's hard for you to see it, but just a little dimple in the plastic will be able to put our holes, because our next step is drilling. Our next step, we see they're pretty much centered, but if for some reason the holes here do not add up. Do not measure exactly where you want them. This material is so easy to drill. You can drill your own holes through here very easily. All you have to do is just visualize it, mark it, mark it, quarter inch hole or a little bigger if you want, 1764s, and just do your hole and take it from there. Now we get our drill with the half inch bit. We put it right up to where our mark is. One hole done. Two holes done. It's as simple as that. Next we take our toggle bolts in this particular case, and in most cases, two toggle bolts are plenty. These toggle bolts have a rating of over 500 pounds each. You, if you, once you get it in there, it's not going any place. But the kit comes with four, so if you wanted to use four, it's included. These are stainless steel, they'll never rust, and once you get it in there, you'll see that it's really going to hold. And here's 
here is how we insert the toggle. We turn it sideways, push it right down into the hole, pull it up as tight as it goes, then we take this little piece right here, we push it down so it fits right into that hole. That's all there is to it. The next thing we do, we snap this right off. Done. We discard this piece. We do the next one. Insert it. Level it out so it's even in there. Move our slip right down so it fits in the hole. Making sure that it's tight and snap it off, just like the other one. Now you have your two toggle bolts ready to receive the bolt. We go back and get our plate. We line it up so it's directly over each of the holes. Perfect. Go to the first one, get it right down in there, and start screwing the bolt. And what it's doing is it's going right into the toggle bolt, and the tighter we make it, the closer it'll get up to the... So we're just going to take our drill and just drill it down. We're not going to go all the way. We do the same thing for the, this bolt. We just do a little bit back and forth so we make sure that it's even and it doesn't tilt the it doesn't tilt the uh, toggle bolt on the inside. Once we're down to the very end, you got yourself a solid platform right here. I'm just going to give it a little push, but don't over tighten it. Because what you'll do is end up stripping it. There you go. The two bolts are now in. This can lift up the whole, um, the whole plate and the whole kayak. Now we're going to replace the handle, the carrying handle, right here on the, on the plate. So we have our handle and we want to re reinstall it back on the plate. It comes with a string, runs through the handle and through another hole. So we'll snake it up through the hole, through the handle, back through the hole where we're going to tie it off. And there goes your handle, right there. You don't lose anything, it's still there, it's workable. If you wanna change the rope to a heavier rope, that's great too. This system will also work with the more bolted in. All you gotta do is put a couple of holes in and re-bolt it right into the plate. Now, we're gonna install our motor, we're gonna put it on and see just exactly where it rubs up against here.